no, no, the earthquake's so powerful. Hello and welcome to B. Why are you so? Why are you coming so close? Hello and welcome to BBC News at six. The breaking news today. Oh, it's not that. Oh, fuck sake. <laughs> Hello and welcome to BBC News at six. The main story today: the Japanese earthquake and the following tsunami. Over to our over to our reporter Aiden Boyce. Oh, it's that. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the BBC News at six. The main story today. The Japanese earthquake and the following tsunami. Now over to our reporter Aiden Boyce. Here is the BBC News at six with Liam Bly. Done. <laughs> <laughs> God's sake. Here is the BBC. Here is the BBC News at six with Liam Bly. Done. Hello and welcome to the BBC News at six. We have reports today on the Japanese earthquake and following tsunami and the troubling support, the troubling, oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Here is the BBC News at six with Liam Bly. Dun. Hello. Here is the BBC News at six with Liam Bly. Dun. Hello and welcome to the BBC News at six. I'm Liam Bly. Today we have reports on the Japanese earthquake and following tsunami. Dun. And reports on the troubling situation in Libya. Dun. And a roundup of England World Cup series. Dun. Firstly, time for a harrowing report on the Japanese earthquake. Uh, well, <laughs> <laughs> Here is the BBC News at six with Liam Bly. Dun. Hello and welcome to the BBC News at six. I'm Liam Bly. Today we have reports on the Japanese earthquake and tsunami. Dun. And reports on the troubling situation in Libya. Dun. And a roundup of England's recent World Cup. Dun. Firstly, time for a harrowing report on the Japanese. <laughs> here is the BBC News. At, here is the BBC News at six, with Liam Bly. Dun. Uh, here is the BBC News at six, with Liam Bly. Dun. <laughs> here is the BBC News at six, with Liam Bly. Dun. Hello and welcome to the BBC News at six. I'm Liam Bly. Today we have reports on the Japanese earthquake and following tsunami. Dun. And the report on the troubling situation in Libya. Dun. And a roundup of England's recent World Cup. Dun. Firstly, time for a harrowing report on the Japanese earthquake. A one week on, things are no better. After the devastating 8.9 magnitude earthquake in Japan, there has been another aftershock earthquake. On the, mag on the Richter scale, it has a magnitude of 6.0. After the 8.9 earthquake, followed by the tsunami. Sh oh. <laughs> Here I am in Sendai, the closest city to the epicenter. As you can see, the damage to the buildings is a lot worse than it was when I was over there. Buildings destroyed, mudslides. Yeah. Here I am. Here I am in Sendai, the closest city to the epicenter. As you can see, the damage is a lot worse than it was in Tokyo. Buildings, more buildings destroyed, mudslides. Disgraceful. <laughs> Here I am at the twin. Liam, forgot to Hello, and welcome back to the BBC News at 6. Here to explain how this all happened, we have Finley Panting, our science editor. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, and welcome back to the News at 6. Here to explain how this all happened, our science editor, Finley Panting. <laughs> Hello, and welcome back to the BBC News at 6. Here to explain how this all happened, Finley Panting, our science editor. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the BBC News at 6. Here to explain how this all happened, Finley Panting, our science editor. Hello. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the BBC News at 6. To explain how this all happened, our science editor, Finley Panting. Well, it was caused by the movement of the tectonic plates underneath the Earth's surface. One of these plates built up pressure and slipped and it created a wave big enough to wipe out Japan. The wave was moving at 300 kilometres per hour. 